Well, got the new G oven installed. Had to uh, do some modifications. The old oven mounted sat on the side rails. This one has rails, two rails down the center. Had to put new rails in there. The electrical connection came out the top left hand side of the oven. Wasn't long enough to reach my uh, connection box, which was in the cupboard underneath. So I had to modify the where it came out of the electrical control, which wasn't too bad. Moved it over. Had to cut a s spot in the back rails in order to get the uh, cable down because this oven sits back a little bit further than the other one did and there wasn't clearance for the electrical cable. Long ever do. <laughs> Old Thermidor. I spent a lot of time on that. Placing hinges, hinge springs. Oh, I forget what all did to that. But finally, the, the hinge broke completely on the one side. I uh, said, so enough's enough, time to get rid of it. And there it is. Oops, almost tripped over my Harbor Freight cart. Oh, one of these Harbor Freight carts about a year ago. This is the, the big one, 1,000 pound. You can jack it up, work great for installing the oven. Put the oven on it, jack it up, line it up where it's supposed to be, and slide it right in. Really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is how high it sits off the ground. So if you put something on, you got about eh, 10 inches off the ground, but it still works nice. The thing I like about it is I can I keep that in the garage normally. You can use it for a work table. Just jack it up. Chaps up higher than what the oven is in the wall. So it just comes in real handy for unloading stuff out of the truck. Really like it. And uh, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Painted the kitchen. Just about a couple months ago. Still have to put flooring in. The stuff here is old. Want to do it the whole way over that room and then into the, the small kitchen area. Going to do all the same. Got to tear this old stuff out of here first. Also, need a new refrigerator. Kind of were looking at them over there when we bought the, uh, picked the oven up. But this is kind of in a tight enclosure. It's only 33 wide. Height is problem. I can't widen it because if I take that board out to tear along the side to try to widen it, will you turn the light on? If I take a board out along the side, don't get any, won't gain anything because it's tied up against the radiator. So, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here yet. You can get, we can get one that's taller. I'd have to take out them two top covers, which might be a possibility. We only use them covers that much. And I have this refrigerator sitting out from the wall pretty far because it's it's not cooling properly. I've, for the last two years, I've been having trouble getting it below about 39 degrees. And, there, and that's where the gauge turned the whole way up the adjustment. Occasionally, the thing decides 
it's going to start working, come down and everything's froze. <laughs> so it's time to get a new one. I put a new thermostat in. That didn't help any. Put the one in down in the refrigerator in the back. There's one up in the freezer in the back that controls the uh, controls the uh, defrost, and I think that's probably the one that's a problem. I think it's staying on the defrost cycle too long or too much. Anyhow, this video ain't the best looking one. I didn't plan much. I was going to video everything and take an oven out and put another one in, but I just didn't have time. It's hard to do the work and have the camera set up, so. And this camera, I, I can't figure out how to pause it and come back in and start recording again. I, I did pause it, and then when I come back in, it's not goes to finish or whatever you want to call it and I can't go in and start recording again. So I gotta get so this is just my phone. So I gotta get something else. Something that I can pause and do a couple steps and then start it again. That's it for now. Have a good one.